5th September 2022 Morning Murli Om Shanti Babdada Madhupan Sweet children raise and donating the imperishable jewels of knowledge that you receive from the father the ocean of knowledge question what is the main reason for your going ahead or staying behind in the rosary answer you are following shrimat those who follow shrimat very well claim a number ahead whereas those who follow shrimat well today but who tomorrow mix the dictates of their own minds with shrimat because of the influence of body consciousness claim a number towards the end even though they may have come last those who follow shrimat accurately can claim a number ahead song o traveler of the night do not become weary the destination of the dawn is not far off Om Shanti Both Ba and Dada say Om Shanti The original religion of the self of both of them is peace It should emerge from us children that Om that is the original religion of ourselves the soul is peace We are now going to the land of peace Baba will first of all take us to the land of peace who will go first it is as though the more you stay in remembrance the more you race ahead you are now becoming soul conscious this takes a lot of effort brown made you very conscious for half the cycle the unlimited father the supreme father the supreme soul is now making you soul conscious and showing you the way to your home only the one who is the master of the home can show you the way home no human being can show you the way home it isn't that the law only the one father comes and shows you the way his name is the ruler of sorrow the one who liberates you from sorrow they have been singing his praise on the path of devotion it isn't that souls and the golden age say that the father liberated them from sorrow and sent them to the land of happiness no only at this time to explain this knowledge to you only at this time does knowledge continue and this part this part then comes to an end and the reward begins only the one father plays the part of making impure ones pure and he plays that part every cycle you know that you were pure for half a cycle you then went into the kingdom of ravan and continued to come down the degrees continued to decrease it is only in the bharat that there were deities who were 16 celestial degrees full full of all virtues they then had to take rebirth and definitely had to come down the degrees have to decrease however they are not aware of this their your intellects have all of this knowledge at this time how do the pure deities became impure come and we will tell you the story of 84 births this is the true story of the cycle of 84 births those people relate false stories they show the duration of the cycle to be very long by listening to the story of the cycle of 84 births you claim the status of kings and queens who rule the globe sanyasis etc do not know those deep secrets their religion is separate they first take birth to their parents and so they also go to temples etc and worship there then when they have this interest they leave their homes and families and go away the father says what the worship souls becoming worshipers only applies to you it is remembered that brahmins emerge from the mouth of brahma and so them most surely have been adopted 
This Baba was also impure at first, and he then became pure. You became Brahmins and then make effort to become pure deities. The kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan is called heaven. There, there is the undivided religion where deities live in unity. There cannot be any conflict there. Maya doesn't exist there. The praise of this deity religion is sung full of all virtues. When you go to a Lakshmi and Narayan temple, tell them this one is the true Narayan. Is he not? Why is he called the truth? Because there is a lot of falsehood nowadays. Many people have the name Lakshmi Narayan or Radhe Krishna etc. They have double names. In Madras, many people have very good names. Bhagat, Vatsalam means protector of the devotees etc. That would only be God. How could that be a human being? It is in the intellects of your children that the Supreme Father of souls, the Supreme Soul is now sitting in front of you. If you continue to look at Baba, you can understand how Baba, the purifier, is the most beloved. The soul says, incorporate Baba is speaking to our souls. The incorporate Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul comes and teaches us souls. This is not mentioned in any of the scriptures. Some people say that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul enters the body of Krishna. However, that form of Krishna only exists in the golden age. Krishna cannot exist here with that name or form. The picture of Krishna that you see is not accurate either. A photograph cannot be taken of what children see in a divine vision. However, yes, it is very well known that the beautiful Sri Krishna was the first prince of the golden age. Then he became the world emperor. The kingdom begins with Lakshmi and Narayan. The era begins with their kingdom. The first era of the golden age is that of the conqueror of sin, means Vikramajit. When Sri Krishna takes birth, there are still some people remaining who have to return home. This is the confluence age to become pure from impure. The new era, the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan starts when everyone has become completely pure and that is then called the land of Vishnu. Sustenance takes place through the dual form of Vishnu means Lakshmi and Narayan. You are now making effort to become that. You say that you make effort to claim your inheritance from the father every 5000 years. You have to make effort very well. A teacher would understand to what extent a student can pass. You children also know to what extent you can tend to have a constant and stable stage. To what extent you take the imperishable jewels of knowledge from the father and then donate them to others. No one else can donate this imperishable jewels of knowledge. You receive the jewels of knowledge from the father, the ocean of knowledge. These are not physical diamonds or pearls. You children have to become donors of the imperishable jewels of knowledge. Check yourselves to see how much you are donating. Look how much mama and baba donate. The best sisters of you all also donate very well. A race is going on. As yet, no one has passed the final test. It would be said at present so and so is clever. If a rosary had to be created now, it would be very different from the earlier rosary. Those who wear the fourth and fifth numbers beads have died. Those who were also placed in a number ahead have now gone to back and new ones have gone ahead. Vala knows everything. That is why it is said only the jaggery means unrefined sugar made from the sap of palm trees. 
and the bar containing the jaggery know how sweet the jaggery is. Baba continues to tell you everything. Earlier, your stage was good, whereas your position has now gone down because you do not follow Srimad accurately. You follow the dictates of your own minds. Anyone can ask, Baba, if I were to leave my body at this time, what would my state be? Some of these things are mentioned in the Gita. They are like a pinch of salt in a sack full of flour. Everyone continues to call out, Baba liberates us from Raven's kingdom. Remove our sorrow. This is the true Haridwar, means gateway to God, where your sorrow is removed. Only the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, the reward of sorrow is called Hari, means one who removes sorrow. Shri Krishna is not that. Only the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is called the remover of sorrow and the buster of happiness. You became the masters of the land of happiness. You became the masters of the world through the power of yoga. There is physical power, physical strength and this is why they continue to use their intellect to invent bombs. There is no question of an army here. No one in the world knows how you receive world sovereignty through the power of yoga. Only the father comes and teaches you this yoga. The father says constantly remember me alone and the ocean of knowledge. They sing praise of him, the ocean of knowledge, the ocean of happiness and purity. They would never say the ocean of yoga. No, it would be wrong to call him the ocean of yoga. The father is the ocean of knowledge, the purifier. He must definitely be reigning knowledge. The first thing the father says is, constantly remember me alone. To remember anyone else is ignorance. Only the one father gives you the knowledge of the beginning, the middle and the end of the world. He also gives you teachings for yoga. All others would give you wrong instructions for yoga. That is called physical yoga to keep the body fit. This is spiritual yoga. This Raj yoga is not mentioned anywhere else. No one other than the father can teach you Raj yoga. They don't even know it. You will study this Raj Yoga and then go and rule there. There are no images of Raj Yoga. You create those pictures just to explain to others. No one can understand them just by looking at them. It has to be explained to people that this Brahma studied Raj Yoga and became Narayan. There is his picture beside it. To embed all of these things is a matter for the intellect. What would the teacher do and thus? The teacher cannot do anything to your intellect. Some say, open the lock on my intellect. What can Baba do? Just continue to remember Baba and study well and your intellect will open fully. Children are taught everything fully. Say Baba, say Mama. Only when a child says this, will he learn. How could he learn it without saying it? Therefore, the mouths of you children are made to open so that you can speak. You have to make effort. You have to give the father's introduction. He is God, the highest on heart, the creator of everyone. You all receive the inheritance of heaven from him. Then. By you are losing your inheritance in the kingdom of Raven, it becomes hell. Deities were pure and then they became impure. Then the purifier father came and said, Constantly remember me and your sins will be absolved. There is no other way. The allow of vices can only be removed with the power of yoga. By having remembrance, you will become pure and became a garland around the neck. Continue to practice speaking again 
and again you mustn't just say baba i am unable to speak the more you follow shrimat and remember baba the higher the status you will claim if you don't follow shrimat your intellects will become locked and the arrow will not strike the target the mercury of happiness will not rise if you follow the dictates of your own minds baba would say that you are following ram's dictates many children are body conscious and don't study the morally what knowledge would those who don't even study the morally give such a variety of new points can't into emerge you have to make effort to become soul conscious you also have to renounce your old bodies this costume is also that can't into talk to yourself and thus way no one's service can remain hidden no weakness can remain hidden either maya is very devilish she continues to make you perform many types of wrong action if you make a mistake instantly ask the father for forgiveness remain very clean inside and out many have a lot of body consciousness baba has explained don't take any personal service from anyone prepare fit for yourself do both spiritual and physical service if you give someone drishti while in remembrance of baba you receive a lot of help baba himself sometimes enters and gives a lot of help to some doing service those people think that they did something and they quickly became arrogant they don't understand that baba made them to do it baba can enter someone and make service happen there is then a double force there if someone received a lift and begins to do good service you should be happy what is there to be jealous about and thus you must never engage yourself in thinking about others some people spread rumors even if someone says something why should you cause more damage by relating that to others there are many who make up lies so and so is like this and like that now listen to such false things if someone tells you wrong things then hear but don't hear never spoil anyone's heart acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point remain clean and honest with the father inside and out if you make a mistake instantly ask for forgiveness do both types of service physical and spiritual second point don't engage yourself in thinking about others because of jealousy if anyone tells you wrong things about others then hear but don't hear don't speak about such things and spoil the hearts of others blessing may you be master merciful and donate happiness to unhappy and peaceless souls by being generous hearted explanation at present people can have everything but they cannot have real happiness so at such a time give unhappy and peaceless souls the experience of happiness and they will bless you from their hearts you are the children of the bestower and so let the virtue of being merciful emerge and share the treasure of happiness generously never think that someone is never going to listen even if someone opposes you you must not let go of your feelings of mercy feelings of mercy and good wishes definitely bring you fruit slogan the sustenance of knowledge 
and yoga, its spiritual sustenance, became powerful and make others powerful with the sustenance. Om Shanti 